We're in Melilla, which is a Spanish territory in North Africa, and we're heading towards the border with Morocco. We've hidden our medium-sized camera, and I'm filming now with one which fits in the palm of my hand, and I'll soon be putting it in my pocket. We're heading into Morocco without journalist permits, because where we're going, the authorities don't want us to film. So we've crossed the border now, we're in Morocco. We're within touching distance though with the border into Melilla. As you can see, we're going up a mountain. Gurugu, it's called. And we've come to see the people living here. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. So 11 of you live in here? Yeah, 11, 11. Of, us, 11, of, us, 11 of us live in here. These makeshift homes stretch all over this part of the mountainside and this is just one camp of several. There are thousands of migrants, sub-Saharan Africans, all waiting, desperate to cross into Melilla, into Spain, into Europe. Below the mountain, you can see the border fence. It stretches for 11 and a half kilometers, and it separates the Spanish territory of Melilla, Europe, where we are now, from just over there, Morocco, Africa. Now, the border itself is comprised of three fences. The one on the furthest side is eight meters high. And the police say that recently, migrants have been using the first fence, the movement of it, to almost catapult themselves onto the fence nearest to Spain on this side. The police say they come down to points on the border in their hundreds and they can cross this border fence in less than a minute. And the authorities here in Melilla say that the number of migrants that crossed in the first three months of this year is roughly the same as the number that crossed in the whole of last year. <laughs> This is the main crossing point from Morocco into Melilla, Spain. The Spanish police are carrying out rigorous checks on the vehicles here because sometimes migrants can be hidden inside the chassis of a vehicle. But you can see the huge flow of people across this border. As many as 40,000 people can make the crossing from Morocco into Melilla in one single day. And that's equivalent to half the total population of Melilla. <laughs> The hundreds of migrants who have recently crossed into Melilla come to this temporary immigration centre which is currently running at four times its capacity. There's normally enough space here for nearly 500 people. But you can see these temporary green tents because there are nearly 2,000 people currently here. Spain wants more help from the European Union in controlling what is one of Europe's most southern borders. It wants help tackling the mafias that traffic men to places like Melilla. And it wants more help educating men like these because it says that although most of them will end up on the Spanish mainland, the majority will be eventually returned to the countries where they're from.